YouTube land, I joined the toughest Iowa league for Guilty Gear Strive. How did I do? <laughs> you gotta watch the video to find out. Shout out to Philly B. They hosted the DNF Duel Iowa League. I'm by, you might have seen months ago. I ain't gonna lie, months ago and videos ago because I haven't really brought you guys gameplay videos like I said I was. But hopefully, Lord willing, I get caught up this week because this week is Evil Japan. So I'm sure there's gonna be a news or announcement trailers or something, some sort of teaser that's coming in the near future. But hopefully, I could catch up, especially with RE4 coming out, and I want to play that as well. Hopefully, you guys want to see that on the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash PrinceBeer2. But I joined this league. It's a five week league, first of five, which is kind of crazy for our league because we ain't never had that. We've had first threes, but first five, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a set. That's a grueling set. That's a hard set. That's a, you gotta make adjustments and things of that nature. Actually, fun fact while we get into this video is I was quite scared. I was like, yo, how long are these videos gonna take? Because I usually like to record them and then go back and get my thoughts and comments afterwards rather than in the moment of the set and uh this first video dog <laughs> <laughs> this first video dog is it's, it's a quick video i promise you I, I you don't we're gonna be out here in 20 minutes <laughs> shout out to princess peach or prince peach excuse me prince peach shout out to them that's who i played this first week uh eno player very strong eno player and uh i think they're from iowa city now anyone from iowa could join this league obviously because it is iowa centric league and uh anyone in their surrounding states that i think border iowa could join it so like a minnesota uh maybe a nebraska uh can't think of the states right now i just woke up good morning but <laughs> you know those kind of states and stuff like that too so if you're you know seeing whether it be in new york or california i know norcal and south cal socal got like their own shit i don't care i don't care if it's good i don't care if you got the best players in the world we not no slouches over here we got some quality players it's still a tough league it's the toughest league in iowa for a reason i ain't gonna lie i got cooks I, I got man i got cooked because it's been a while since i played Guilty Gear strive obviously you've seen that on the channel and it's been a while since i played a competent opponent like usually when i play rank rank has this problem of like i would say everybody in my squad is i've yet to play someone that couldn't hold their own against people i played even prince peach like my rno squad i got lucky you know what i'm saying only is a great player zay is a great player with that though i don't play against those type of players in ranked ranked has I, I can see why the floor system's flawed right and we're gonna get into the video but i can see why the floor system's flawed because ranked has people like me you know nine to fivers who go to work and come home and play and like like they could do an optimal combo and bust your ass if you don't know what's going on or they could do an optimal setup and bust your ass if you don't know what's going on but at the same time they're not they haven't seen everything you know what i'm saying like it, it, it just is what it is we don't have enough time in the day to put in work and do what we do where like a oni or zay is elite level players that play against good competition and are, are competent opponents like they're going to be tra well transversed against seeing what's going on in the meta and going against the meta and going against these different characters and see what they actually are versus a twitter thread you know what i'm saying but the problem with the floor system is like i'm i'm a floor tenor like i'm a 10.5 player you know what i'm saying like i i, I had my days where i could go to the celestial floor challenge like i've done it seven times and never got in and then i have my days where i lose to a floor eight player like i'm like my range is that wide so it's kind of hard when you don't play against these elite level players and that'd be the hardest part about playing a zay or a oni every single day right like when I play against them, like I might get one opportunity or two opportunities at the set to, to work on what I worked on, regardless of if it's like an optimal combo, of regardless if it's an optimal punish. And I was like working on punishes prior to, like truth be told, before I played this set, we played it at eight o'clock. I actually was on at 7.30 and I was practicing counter hit, like the big counter like combos. And I was getting good combos, but I never really used them because in the moment of being in the moment, you go back to your habits and your natures like that. So that's the hardest part is because you'll see in the video, like I, th I think maybe one or two rounds, I get perfect, like spoiler alert. But when I got the big counter hits, I think I just went to what I knew because I didn't want to try another because it was so hard just to get a hit. And I feel like that's a lot of people in a lot of scenarios. It's like of well, my nine to five area reference. I'm not saying that only NZ and players like that can't be nine to fivers too. I, I get there's outliers, like there's great players all around, right? 
but like I say all that to say that playing them is harder for me personally because I don't get those opportunities. It's not that I'm not on their level. It's just like their neutrals better. Their their spacing's better. Like that's stuff that just takes time from playing and understanding your characters in which I'm never going to get because I'm never on enough. Like especially like y'all truth be told the last thing before I get into the video I said this video wouldn't be long. I'm on here ran for five minutes. Y'all will never see that because what y'all see is damn near what I practice. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't really get the chance to practice that much. Like, I choose content creation over gaming, you know? It's like, it's my own fault, but I don't know, we'll make it work. Without further ado, long tangent over, let's get into this actual match and show y'all how many times I fucked up. Cause this, this ain't gonna lie, this, this here, here right here, this is embarrassing. How do I, is there a full screen there? Okay, there we go. Is there no sound? There's no sound on this? Man, I might have to play some music. I ain't gonna lie, I was getting hit early and often. I didn't know what to do. Um, it's been like I said, it's been a while since I played against Eno, and I think that's some one of my problems. It's not. It's just like that two S, right? Like, it's not pressing buttons. It's just pressing the wrong buttons in this wrong scenario. And I, I ain't gonna lie, Eno's hard to block. I'm gonna just keep it a B. I feel like I'm very active when I block, so. I might be going down back to down and I, I always get caught within the frames in between because like even like some of these situations I'm confused on how I get hit because I'm like yo I was, I was holding back but clearly you see guys holding like down I don't know fat finger problems playing on the pad problems I don't know I, don't know, I always kind of like often play it in my head whether I want to switch to like stick or hurt box but I, I really don't know mm. I'm just trying to get some momentum back at this point. Cause I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I mean, why would you not mash, right? <laughs> I think at this point, like specifically, I'm laughing cause I'm just like, damn dog. Like <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, oh, this is gonna be a long day because, uh, you know, I'll give you some fourth wall breaking content, right? I was in the, yeah, I don't know. I tried to go for a burst, but I was in the, uh, you know, people talking to Discord. Obviously, that's punishable. I know, like, a lot, a lot of dumb shit I'm doing, I'm just doing out of the frustration of just not being able to get a flow, right? But, um, yeah, I was in the Discord, and then everybody's, like, reporting their matches, right? And then I'm seeing a lot of 5-0s, which that scared the shit out of me because I'm just like, damn, dog. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you would think some people would get more than, like, a game or something, right? So then, like, I'm trying shit at this point, as you can clearly see. But luckily, I got it. But yeah, that was smart. That was smart. I should have did something else. Um, but what was I gonna say? Yeah, I, I, at a certain point, I was just like, fuck it, just, just play. <laughs> I was gonna go for a cool ass combo there, but yeah, I didn't get it. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people reported 5 0 so I'm like, damn, I do not want to get 5 0 And then I saw that uh, Prince Peach was fucking a celestial floor didn't get didn't get far enough dash but saw they were a celestial floor so i was just like fuck and i'm out here fuck fucking up i ain't gonna lie seeing them get hit a lot too kind of helped me out and then yeah I, I, I didn't know what to do there i i burst just because i was like i gotta get around get momentum you know what i'm saying there is a reason why people call timeouts in uh sports games because they want some momentum. That was a great save jump. I think I even said it in this moment now that I think about it. Because I just looked at it like, damn, that was a great save jump. Hey, that was a great combo, too. <laughs> the fast RC drift and, and get the punish to kill. I pretty much defeated here, but I'm like, fuck it. Let's just keep playing. Because not to mention, that's, that's the crazy thing. Is like, Eno is such a beast of a character that... This is a, a bad version of her, and she's still scary to me. And that's probably why I'll never make a tier list again, because it's like, nigga, E mid, so like, why would you, like, who would really care about your opinion? Like, hindsight being 2020, as I age, I was like, yeah, I'm kind of tripping making tier lists. Like, nobody cares about my opinion. Like, I, it gets to the point that I'm, I'm just trying to play clean at this point, because like, I'm RCing, like, stun dippers that are away, and I'm getting mixed. One thing that I was thinking about as I'm playing this set too, um, I think I'm going to try to hold uh, hold a stance. 
I like I, I guess the best way I could describe what I do a lot is I try to fuzzy a lot. Like I'm trying to fuzzy like follow like the you know player and i just think i get caught in between the frames so i think one thing i'm gonna do is just not do that shit no more i'm gonna just like if i'm wrong i'm wrong and if i can't react to the overhead then i guess i can't react to the overhead you know what i mean because at this point trying to do whatever i'm doing like it's not working and like even then that's another thing too is like like that was probably one of my better block sequences but it led to nothing it literally led to me dying in which I could have wire C, but then they could have blocked it. I mean, there's so many different scenarios. Is this stuff? Is this stuff? At this point, my brain scrambled. I'm not not looking for anything. I'm just I'm just vibing out right here for real, for real. And the crazy thing is too is like another like wild thing right oh yeah i knew that was punishable like there's a i think the last round he did that and i could punish that but i didn't try it but then once i did that i was trying to look for that more but um like the dnf dual league was like okay there were some matches i should have won i should have won at least three and one so truthfully if i was on top of my p's and q's and starting off with this league duh. <laughs> this is week one man i'm stressed already I ain't gonna lie to you. If part of me wishes Sin was better, because I, I might, I don't know. Playing Kai? Hmm, I don't know. Because I like Kai, right? Like, Kai, like character wise, fits what I want to do. Long ranges, good neutral. Good fireball game. Um, yeah, I got. I had to win the round, so I was. I was just trying to RC and all that. But like a lot of things that Kai has in his tool set, I like and I love. But I don't know if I'm playing Kai. Like I don't know. I don't know who to play. I I, I probably have more of a rush down archetype, but to me. The only rushdown I think would be worth it is like Giovanna. <laughs> Cause she's not like a glass cannon. Like I like chip would be cool, but I'm not strong enough defensively or neutral wise to, to play chip because the moment I play chip, like the moment I get hit is over. Cause you see how much I'm getting hit with Kai and he has the most normal health in the game. Giovanna um, wouldn't be a bad option for me. Milia, I guess Eno. I, I, I mean, there's a world where I could play Eno. I don't know. I don't like the float. I don't like her movement, to be honest. Or that's like something that would take like skill because like my movement's already ass. But I guess Sin fits. Sin fits that description too. Like Sin, Sin fits a Kai description, but. Sin's just very ass right now, so I don't. Mm. <laughs> I didn't think they would burst here. I mean, why would they? And that's the thing. I gotta, I gotta relearn pressure sequences too, because it's like there's just certain shit that I. I like after a while I'm just not scary unless I should just go for more strike throw type of things to see if they mash but even then that's scary because if you're not right you're gonna get grabbed or you're gonna get poked out of it and then there goes my pressure too I'm not I'm not gonna lie there's certain moves bro I, I can't tell the difference I guess I just don't have the, the eyes for guilty here. Like, nigga, if you could tell the difference between heavy stroke and, and slat or S stroke, you got it. And mind you, I'm, I'm saying from the, the certain ranges. I'm not saying from max range. Obviously, max range, you could tell. But, like, you get that round start type of range. Yeah, I can't tell. And I, I ain't gonna lie. Like... I'm gonna let this play for a second. 
like you see me sit here for a second. I was contemplating life. Like I was like, damn, dog, damn. Cause there's there's something too. There, there's something to a buzz ass situation. Like what is buzz ass? I be sitting there contemplating, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just be like, damn, that shit sucks. I ain't gonna lie. That shit, that shit sucks. So, you know, obviously I have. It's usually like the way the league is set up, right? Is it's five weeks and you have from Wednesday, like say week two starts Wednesday. So I have to Wednesday till that next Wednesday to play my set. And the problem with that is it's not enough. That, like what? It's literally today. Uh, today I record the podcast. I might have an hour to play, maybe practice. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have to play Wednesday. I can always play Thursday or Friday. It just depends on the person's schedule because obviously it's two people scheduling, which is very nice too. Like I like that we don't have to play that day. Like I like how we could kind of stretch it out to where we could play whatever. But I, mm, I want to say I'm feeling optimistic, but at the same time, I don't know because uh, your boy got cooked. And fighting games are hard, man. Fighting games are fucking hard. It's just the little things. It's just getting my defense better and then get better neutral. And I think that would take me far. Because it's not like I can't anti. It's not like I don't know combos. It's not like I, I can't block, so that's defense. But defense and neutral will take... Defense and neutral will take you a lot of different places in, in the FGC. And that's the same with fucking sports. Like... You got good fundamentals in defense. Like, you could go anywhere. The problem is, can I do that shit within these four weeks? I don't know. Especially when you ain't been playing in a while. Um, damn, fighting games are hard. They're sick, but they're, they're very hard. Especially, like, when you get a reality shot. Like, you didn't know the world was big until you went a different block. And that's kind of how I feel right now. So, you know, I still pray for your boy. <laughs> Wish him well. Like I said, I think in the DNF league, I went 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Could have went 3-1. and one. Definitely went 0-1 for sure. I mean, we definitely got one loss for sure on the belt. How will we do these other four weeks? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Prince Peach. I think they have a Twitch stream. They run the Iowa scene, Iowa City scene, so go follow them. Um, I think it was like twitch.tv slash Prince peach gg i want to say hopefully um love you guys i got, got man i don't know what to say <laughs> i'm just contemplating life that's all i'm gonna think about while i'm at work and then when i'm doing the podcast i'm gonna just stress out about fighting games because i love them but god damn i suck out but until next time i'm out bye